for what it's worth, I think that uh, a lot of people, um, particularly when there's a discussion and a debate going on between religiously minded people and more skeptical secular people like myself, I think some of the time we're talking cross purposes. Uh, by that I mean there are good people on both sides of the world. Just as a distraction, as an aside, I find some very small mussels growing on the rocks here. Absolutely tiny. Um, so yeah, I think a lot. It's important to notice who has integrity, where the honesty lies, who is trying to censor other people's thoughts, who isn't. Now, when it comes to the question of whether there is a God or not, whether God is the universe or not, what it even means to suggest that God is above nature. The important thing is just uh, to keep an open mind, not to jump to any premature and try to figure this thing out once and for all. We may never figure this thing out, but uh, we can but try. And a lot of the fun is in the process of trying, trying to figure it out. Ah, oh, a little bit quiet around here. I don't know if you managed to hear any of that. That's a really sheltered spot here in amongst the rocks. Tranquility chance to ponder and reflect and think about the world, the natural world. I guess some of this is quite alien to a lot of people. I think that's a shame they don't have the chance to spend time wandering amongst the rocks. I suppose as well as that, there's a lot of folk who would consider this to be very dull and very boring. As far as I'm concerned, there's lots of amazing things to look at, to try to figure out. More limpets on the side of rocks, for example. Stuck very securely to the side of the rocks. So, Look at the way that pool there has been sculpted. Presumably by the way the waves crash into that particular part of rock. Cool. 